Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jill with At Home with Jill, and this room right here is my daughter's, and it is embarrassing to show you this right now. But this is what their room looks like right now, and I'm about to clean it for them because I feel like it. Okay, so their room gets like this, and I know a lot, some of you don't believe me, but their room gets like this very fast, and they clean it almost every night. I make them clean it up, okay? But um, sometimes I go in there and do it because I want it done right. And I also like to come in here with a trash bag and just throw a bunch of crap away. So that's what I'm doing today. I am decluttering my girl's room cleaning it really well, cleaning their bathroom. Their bathroom was disgusting. Um, the room, it's not like gross. It's not dirty. It's just messy. Um, my kids aren't allowed to like eat or drink in their rooms or anything. So their rooms don't get like gross, but they just get ridiculously messy. Guys, I'm going to take a quick second to share with you my new favorite tool as a homeschool mom. Check it out. Between math games and educational curriculum, our school days were starting to sound like chaos. That is until we discovered iClever's Bluetooth headphones for children. These headphones are so soft and comfy. They're foldable. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. It's so quiet. Thanks to iClever, our mom is not going to go crazy anymore. I love how squishy it is so it doesn't hurt my ears. And no more pesky cords. So as a mom, I love how quiet my house is again during school. I love that there's no cords to be bothered with. I love that they have a safe volume so your kids cannot damage their eardrums. If you are interested in these headphones, make sure you check the link in my description box. Thanks, guys. I also just wanted to mention, um, I am editing this the next day and their room literally looks like this again, although it's not as bad. There's not like dirty clothes or anything. It's just the toys that they played with today. But my, the point in me, um, bringing this up is just like, it's okay if your kid's room is a mess because they play, they're playing, they play. We, have only a three bedroom house and five kids. And so we don't have like a playroom or anything. We have one living room that is literally you walk through the front door and there you are in our living room. There's our kitchen, our dining, and then we have our bedrooms. Like we don't have a basement. We don't have a garage. We don't have any extra rooms. So my kids' rooms hold all their toys and everything, and so their room gets messy, and that's normal. It's okay. And also, kids should be cleaning up their own rooms, but imagine like being a young child and like you have all this stuff that maybe you're not using anymore or that's just junk now, but you're a child and so you don't necessarily know to like get rid of those things and it just becomes overwhelming because your room keeps piling up with more and more stuff and you play and then it's too hard to clean up. It's overwhelming for kids when there's too much stuff and so that's where mom can come in and declutter so I know what things are special to my kids. I know what they use, what they play with. I know what things were just maybe like given to them that they don't really care about and they're just kind of laying around and they're not being taken care of anyway. So I know what stuff I can get rid of. Um, also, I know what things are a constant problem. Um, like my daughter has a giant squishmallow that she got for Christmas and it has a big giant hole in it. And so the stuffing from it is 
covering the room almost daily and I have her clean it up and it's becoming a huge issue, okay? So like I'm on the floor cleaning up all the fuzz. It was everywhere, you guys. Like it's hard to tell because the floor is light and it's white stuffing, but it was everywhere and I'm over it. So you know what? That Squishmallow is getting thrown up into the loft above me. Um, the, their little closet area that is my oldest daughter's bedroom now, there's a loft up above that. And um, so I'm throwing the Squishmallow up there because I don't have time to sew up that hole anytime soon, but I know it needs to be sewn up. I can't get rid of that because that was her Christmas present last year and she absolutely loves it. So I'm going to promise her that I'm going to sew it up for her soon. I just can't yet. So it's going up in the loft because I can't keep dealing with the fuzz. It, the fuzz doesn't stay in their room. It's in the hallway. It's in my room. It's in the living room. It's literally everywhere. And at first glance, it honestly looks like there's like toilet paper on the ground or something like it looks bad so i'm tired of it so anyway um there are just certain things like i know i can get rid of things and they're not going to care they're not even going to ask they're not going to notice it's gone and then there's other things that i know if i got rid of this i'd be in big trouble so i definitely keep their feelings in mind and i respect their stuff because in the past when I've done videos like this, I get comments from people that think I'm just like ruthlessly and cruelly getting rid of my kids' things with no respect for them. Um, but that's not the case. Also, yes, their flooring in this room, I did a, I saw it on YouTube. It's called paper bag flooring. Um, you use craft paper and you you make like a glue paste with glue and water and you paste the paper down and then you um, do like top coats on top of it. I did that in here <laughs> and their toilet flooded one day and it like ruined it right by the bathroom and it's totally fine because I hate this floor anyway. I hate it so much, but they had disgusting old purple carpet in here that was crusty and gross. And so I ripped up their carpet and then it was raw concrete and raw concrete just feels dusty all the time. It dries out your feet, it's rough, like it just was not working. So I did this because it was f pretty much free. I mean, the craft paper cost me $10 and the glue was like five. And I already had the top coat for the floor. Um, so I did that a couple, like a few years ago. And honestly, I'm over it now. Um, but it still does the job. Like it's a floor and it's not concrete and it's not raw. Like it feels good on your feet. Um, but there is just a section where it's kind of ripping up. Um, there's actually paper bag flooring in my son's room too, although I used brown paper in there and it's supposed to kind of mimic like a wood floor. Um, but I, I'm ready for both of these floors to be redone, but all in good time. That's not gonna happen anytime soon um, because we are working on our kitchen. We're working in our bedroom, our bathroom. Like we have projects going on and it's just not gonna happen. Also, if you are a long-term subscriber of mine, you know that I have had our front bathroom, which is like our guest bath, um, in progress for way too long. And I am happy to say that I finished the bathroom. I finished it, you guys. I finished it today, earlier today. I spent four hours in there and it's done. The bathroom is done. So I can very soon get the video together. It's gonna be really hard to find all the old footage that I've been holding on to to make a video. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to find it or if I'm just gonna have to reveal it without all the footage. We'll see, but um, 
I am so excited that it's done. It's been way too long. I was like, you know what? Two years is coming up. Like if I waited till the fall, it would be two years and I'm not letting that happen. So I'm just going to do it. And I made myself and I'm so glad. Um, also, I'm so obsessed with it that I just keep going and standing there and staring at it because it is gorgeous. Um, but anyway, so I've gotten all their dirty clothes out of their room. That's all in the hamper. I've organized all the toys. I've gotten the decluttering bag filled up and out of here. Um, now I'm going to be going through their dresser after I wipe down all of the surfaces in here. So as you could see, I am having my daughter help me with um, her clothes just because, you know, she's the one that puts these on every day. And so maybe 
she's put something on and it didn't fit and she stuffed it back into her drawer. So I'm just holding up literally every last piece of clothing um, and she's telling me keep or get rid of, keep or get rid of. And then if she says keep and something looks to me like she should get rid of it, I might be trying to persuade her a little bit. And some of the stuff she budged on and some she didn't. Um, like there is this one dress that like, I just don't like it on her. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. And she was very adamant on keeping it. And so she's keeping it. Um, but she did a really good job letting me get rid of a lot of the clothes. I got rid of a lot of Aubrey's clothes and I, w I organized their dresser so nicely. And then I remembered that like they have so many dirty clothes too. And I think they had clothes in the dryer. So I'm like, uh, I'm still going to have to go through a lot of their clothes. And then I'm hoping that their dresser can still be as organized as it is now. Um, the bottom drawers are like socks, underwear, PJs, gymnastics, and bathing suits. And then like the top drawer is all tops. And then the middle drawer is the pants, shorts, and... Um, yeah, pants and shorts. Um, so I really hope it can stay that organized, but I'm not sure like if, I don't know. I, I really hope that we can still keep their wardrobe minimal after I go through all of the other clothes that weren't in there. Um, so now I'm just vacuuming up the room and then I can get started on cleaning the disgusting bathroom and then I could mop and be done in here. Um, this room took me an hour and a half to do and as you might notice, um, I did not touch the beds. So I didn't wash their bedding. I didn't move their bed and there's probably a lot more to do once I do that, but I didn't have it in me today. So I didn't even want to open that can of worms. So I completely left the bed alone. <laughs> um, yeah, so that'll be a different day and that won't be like its own video or anything. That'll just be like, when I'm cleaning the house one day, I will tackle their bed area. Um, but the bathroom, let's talk about the bathroom. Okay, so it's my oldest daughter's job to take out the trash in here every day. And I could tell that for one, she hadn't been doing it. And two, when I moved the trash can, there was a pile of like 20 pull-ups that was hiding behind the trash. So I think what happened is when she would go to take out the trash and it was overflowing, she would just kind of empty the trash, put a new bag in, and then stuff the trash over in the corner, pushing all the stuff that had overflowed. So this this was disgusting. If, you, if you're a mom, you know what old pull-ups smell like. It smells like dead fish. It's awful. Okay, so I made Aubrey come and pick those up. <laughs> Um, she was happy to do it because she knows she's not even supposed to throw those away in here. We talk about this because pull up or bathroom trashes don't fill up that fast, right? So like they don't get taken out every day, maybe weekly, maybe twice a week, but they don't fill up that fast. Kitchen trash cans, on the other hand, we throw our kitchen trash out every single day. So I've always told Aubrey, you walk your pull up to the kitchen in the morning and you throw it away in the kitchen trash. That's it. Like that's a rule. And so both of these girls weren't doing their jobs completely right. So I had them help me so they could see. And then also I just, I love being able to like clean the bathroom for them and then having them come in and see like, okay, this is what it looks like when it's clean. This is what it should look like when you've taken the trash out. There should be nothing nothing left on the floor afterwards. This is a clean bathroom. So keep this in your mind. Take a picture of it with your brain. And next time I ask you to clean your bathroom, this is what it needs to look like. So anyway, it was, it was nice to do it for them. Um, but I can't do it every time because I'm teaching them responsibility. And so 
Anyway, also there's no good place in this bathroom for a toilet paper holder. And so I got this little like over the door hanging thing and that's what that is right there. Um, so yeah. Also, please don't die when I open up the toilet lid, but this bathroom or this toilet is really old and it always gets this like rust this like weird rusty or mineral or something build up on the edges like that. It's so gross. Um, I don't know what it is exactly, but it drives me crazy. And I finally talked to my husband and talked him into replacing this toilet because it's been here for over 20 years and not just that, but it chronically gets clogged. This toilet gets clogged more than once a day um and also after the girls flush the toilet the water just keeps running for like ever and ever and you have to come and like jiggle the handle and it's just a it's a big pain in the butt this toilet has always given us problems ever since we've lived here and so he agreed to replace it so i'm actually surprising the girls um i ordered new flooring for their bathroom and we're getting the new toilet and so i'm gonna like redo their bathroom floor i'm gonna we're gonna switch out the toilet and then i'm gonna paint their vanity and i'm just gonna make it like really really cute in their bathroom so i'm really excited about doing that it's gonna be like a quick project super budget friendly um so anyway, now I am just mopping and I am mopping with hot water and apple cider vinegar. It's actually my new favorite mop solution. I've been doing it for the past like few days. I mopped the house with it the other day and now I'm mopping in here with it. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm, I'm loving it. I ran out of white vinegar one day and used apple cider vinegar instead. And now that's what I'm doing every time. All right guys, so that was a lot of work and I did not even get to the beds today and I know that these girls hoard so much stuff in their beds and Aubrey has a whole ton of crap where the bed meets the wall, like the, where there's a gap there. And also if you lift up her mattress, you're gonna see a bunch of stuff. I don't have it in me today to deal with that. So I just wanted to do like, all of the main parts of the room got rid of a bunch of clothes that don't fit anymore i'm not touching briella's room yet um she's gonna help me in there i always i always have her help me she is 10 years old and definitely can help with that and she learns more every time i have her help um, decluttered all of this stuff that was in there. I kind of want to just be able to get rid of that completely. So probably going to work on that. And then, um, I cleaned the bathroom. It's all nice and clean, clean trash, clean vanity, clean toilet. And then of course, when I was mopping, like some little plastic thing flung over there from underneath. So I'll just, when the floor is completely dry, I'll pick that up and throw it away. But yay, it is a million times better. I know it's not perfect, you guys. I know this room is a huge unfinished project, but it's a million times better and I am happy with it for now. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.